Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Aryan and today we're talking about how to apply a LUT to a bunch of clips at the exact same time. I'm a wedding videographer and whenever a client asks for raw files, I don't want to deliver log clips because it's just going to look really flat and bad and I don't want the client to think that I messed up or something. So I basically apply a LUT to all the clips before I send over my raw files and it's just a handy little thing. So I use Media Encoder for all of this and I've got that loaded up here. I'm quickly going to walk you guys through my process. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a preset inside of Media Encoder that's going to allow us to apply a LUT on top of all of our clips. So you're going to basically come down to this little plus icon, click on that and create a new encoding preset. This little dialog box is going to open up. I'm going to ignore this for now and I'm just going to walk you through the settings I already have in my preset that I've made. So these are the settings that I use. So preset name slog 3 rec 709 but name it whatever you wish. And for format, I just go with H.264. I think it's the most compatible, works on Windows, Macs, YouTube, TVs, phones, everything. So that's what I go with. And for based on preset, just choose the high bitrate option. Again, the file sizes are decent and it just works. If you wanna mute all the clips when you export them, you can uncheck the export audio. That's a nice little feature if you don't want the audio going with it but I just leave that checked because I just, you know, keep in mind, you know, on the wedding day, I just make sure I don't say anything stupid. So I don't have to really worry about that, but it's a nice little feature there. And under the video tab, I just make sure match source is checked. Again, I wanna make sure all the clip, all like the 4K clips coming in are exported at 4K, but if you wanna change it to like 1080p or whatever, you can just uncheck that and pick the resolution, whatever you'd like. But I just uh, hit match source and I make sure that render at maximum depth is checked as well. And same thing here, maximum render quality at the bottom. The next thing you wanna make sure is you come over to the effects tab and under Lumetri look slash LUT, you wanna check that and just go to select and it's gonna ask you for a LUT and just select the LUT that you wanna go with. I'm just gonna go with neutral. I use phantom LUTs and neutral is like the standard, you know, Rec. 709 conversion LUT. So that's what I'm gonna apply here. And you just wanna hit okay and save all your settings. Now I'm gonna bring in all of the log clips that I wanna apply the effect to. Again, you can see here all these clips were shot in log. So again, they just look flat and dull and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna bring in these six clips here. I'm just gonna take a quick second. There we are. Now these are your default settings, H.264 and match source high bitrate. But now under this preset section, this is where we wanna apply our preset. So I just hit Command A or Control A if you're on PC and basically click on this little drop down arrow and it's gonna give you the option to select the preset that you made. So I'm just gonna click that and it's gonna apply that to everything right there. So now basically for preset, it's not going to use its own preset. It's going to use the one we made. And now I just basically select everything again. And for output, I'm just going to choose a different folder. You just do it for one and it will do it for everything else. And now I just hit render. And just like that, as you can see, there's a LUT being applied and it's basically going to go through and apply a LUT to all the clips that I imported. Sometimes this process can take quite some time depending on how many clips you have. But again, this is just a set it and forget it. So I would just, you know, do this right before you go to bed and leave it running overnight. But again, I would rather do this than go through every single clip, apply an adjustment layer a LUT and export everything individually. This is just much easier. You just leave it and next morning you wake up and it's all done for you. The nice thing about this is that it actually keeps all the different frame rates as well. So if you shot a few clips in 30 frames, 24, 60, 120, it's actually gonna export everything at the appropriate frame rates as well. So it's not gonna downsample to 24 or anything. So you don't have to worry about that either. Looks like we're done here. And so we're just gonna quickly go and check all the renders. There you go. As you can see, just looks a lot better now. Compare that to the original, there you go. Quite a bit different there, the preset works, and this is a very, very, very simple process, and I highly recommend it. All right, guys, that was all for me today. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave it a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time.